I was trying to explain to someone the other day how much of a transformation has taken place in the area in which I live, which is Leith, down by the waterfront in Edinburgh. And I explained it this way, that now there are three Michelin-style restaurants within a couple of hundred yards of my flat. Back in the 70s, there was a bar, which is now a very upmarket wine bar, which had a puma which roamed freely behind the bar. Yes, the bar manager owned a puma and kept it behind the bar. It wasn't allowed out into the main area, of course, because it would have been a danger to customers. But one night, this woman went to the toilet and she was pretty drunk and she fell asleep in the toilet. And no one bothered to rouse her when they shut the bar up and left. So she wandered out in the middle of the night, uh, completely unaware of what was happening, feeling a bit worse for wear. She wandered over to the bar only to discover her friends and all, everyone else had left the bar except the puma, which was now roaming freely around the bar. And the puma attacked her and she was quite badly injured, but she did recover after a time in hospital and lived to tell the tale. But that's the difference between, you know, 1970s and now. You see, I was, and not a lot of people know this, I was an early architect of the regeneration of this area. You know, in 1975, myself and a couple of incredible colleagues, we set up a housing association up the road in Leith. And it was the start of something that was really quite transformational. But at that time, people did not have any running hot water. They did not have baths nor do they have showers or central heating. That's something we now take for granted. But at that time, and there were some terrible private landlords around who were really nasty and cruel and did nothing for their tenants. So we were able to buy through compulsory purchase as a housing association, those flats and do them up. The transformation was amazing. The transformation in the houses was one thing, but it was a trans transformation in people, this sense of belief, this sense of belonging, this sense of ownership, this sense of pride they took in their new homes. See, I'll be talking about this at a conference in Glasgow on the 16th of August, Inspiring Leaders Conference. And it is, it is my keynote is about um, how political leadership and leadership and housing, how do, they, how do they correlate? What can they learn from each other? What are the goods and the bads from political leadership? And there have been some goods. But if you want to find out more about my early life in Leith and those early pioneering days, this is my book. I'll put the link up if you want. It's on Amazon. Uh, if you buy it, and enough of you buy it, I might be able to go for a Michelin star meal in the next few months. But that's a very far cry from where I am just now. So please buy it. And anyone that's going to the conference, I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.